Behold, the Scanning Electron Microscope, or SEM. But what does it do? Like any other microscope, this device allows us to see objects that would normally be too small to study in detail, or even too small to see with the unaided human eye. But where optical microscopes can only magnify an object to a few hundred times its original size, an SEM has a magnification power of 300,000. Instead of using a beam of light to focus on a specimen, an electron microscope uses, you guessed it, a beam of electrons. This beam traces over the specimen, creating a replica of the object on a monitor. An SEM has several key components, an electron gun, lenses, a sample chamber, electron detectors, and a vacuum chamber. The gun shoots a stream of electrons at the object in the sample chamber. The lenses are made of magnets, which control and focus the path of the beam. The vacuum chamber is necessary because otherwise the beam would encounter constant interference. The detectors are like the eyes of the microscope. They're able to see the various ways that the electron beam interacts with an object, and they use this information to produce detailed images of the object's surface. There's no doubt that these microscopes use some astonishing technology, but they're far from new. In fact, electron microscope technology dates back to the 1930s.